kind of like it too. It's called Anyone In From Dagenham? Yeah, right. <laughs> right, anybody in from Dagenham? Yeah. I went there once, it was closed. <laughs> Want some more? Yeah. Do you want some more? Yeah. We can't hear you. Do you want some more? Yeah. All right, I'd like to take it back to 79 now. A little gag that's been uh, very good to us. We love it. We hope you love it too. It's called uh, <coughs> If You're Driving Home Tonight. All right. <laughs> if you're driving home tonight, make sure you're in a car. Okay! <laughs> Live. I'm programmed for your destruction. <laughs> Program this, creep. And cut it! Sir Norman, Sir Gareth, you were wonderful. Of course we bloody were. Well. <laughs> I'll tell you what, darling, you're acting me off the bloody screen. Going through an actor of your caliber, that means virtually nothing. <laughs> Children, children. Fuss me, fuss me, fuss me till I fart. <laughs> Hasta la vista, lovey. Uh, cut. Bloody hell do you mean cut? It's my big senior. Stupid American bastard. I'm sorry, Sir Norman. It's just that cyborgs don't say lovey. Excuse me for me, you little American prick. I have sweated blood in the British theatre for 35 years, man and boy. And nobody, nobody has ever dared to say cut to me. Bloody Dickie, bloody Attenborough didn't dare to bloody say cut to me. And he's a bloody lord. Never mind you, you crinkle-headed, pony tailed Yankee tit. And me, me my Winnie Bago. <laughs> Awesome, Sir Gareth. You're too kind. <laughs> Ignite. It's gone out. Oh, sorry, Sir Gareth. I didn't try sucking it. Jeez. <laughs> Where's my little man who sat to you? You sat to him. <laughs> okay, everybody. Places for the final shot. In terms you'd understand, Mr. Yankee. Swivel. <laughs> okay. Four, five, nine, take one. Okay, here we go. Three, two. You're cornered. Your choice. Either you can eat lead or you can eat sunburst butter. <laughs> I've tasted it and I'll be back for more. <laughs> now that's the 
a way to make a bloody commercial laugh. <laughs> Don't you know? Take this butter back to the Winnebago. Well, it's not one much. This painting is called Time by Salvador Dali. <laughs> Unfortunately, it only has big, floppy clocks on it. <laughs> Whereas I prefer big... Sam, <laughs> Benny. I'm thinking that the fish that they call the shaman is a very fine fish. The shaman is a very versatile fish. You can have it smoked. Or you can have it poached. Tasty yum yum. <laughs> or you can put lipstick around its little mouth and take it to a motel for a saucy weekend. Of course. The missus. The missus. Want to talk about it? Don't want to talk about Wanna it. Talk Don't about want it? to talk about it. Want to talk about yeah, it? Yeah, what? <laughs> Wednesday night. Park the cab, early doors. Back to the gaff. The missus. Upstairs. Insurance geezer. Sneaking a large portion, yes. Nah. Yes. Got it. Got it. The missus on her toes down the road. The nippers. The motor. A Pavarotti CD collection. <laughs> Kit Caboodle Bush. Your missus. With respect, a right old slapper. <laughs> but my heart, oh it! I've been well and truly mullered. End of. No, 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 no. <laughs> Don't be so. You're talking a right load of about it. Don't. Plenty more fish in. Pebbles on. <laughs> Your missus, well dodgy. You, diamond geezer. Unlike a Bob's yours, end of. <laughs> a friend in is a friend in. Besides, your missus, huh? Bad breath. <laughs> right airy pits on it. <laughs> and a funny little mole right next to it. Parked on a double yellow slate of glutton. <laughs> Introducing the fabulous Nutelli Products 2000 Multi Box, the box with a million different uses. It's a powerful step aerobic exercise. <laughs> it's a great cat timer. <laughs> it's a wonderful place to store your complete CD collection. It's the most stylish, easy wash spittoon money can buy. <laughs> the quick rinse, and it's the very latest executive toy. So why buy 10, 15, or even 20 different boxes when the multi-box does it all? Remember, multi-box is not available in any store, so box clever and call now. If lines are busy, try again. Operators are standing by to take your call at 24 hours a day. So call, please. Calls are free, so please, please, call. Thank you very much, and we'll see you in part two. We got rid of those two. I... Hello, buddy. I am Mr. Poppy. Hello, hello. <laughs> and tonight we have some lovely, lovely ladies, lovely ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, please, a big round of applause for my special helper tonight. <laughs> what is your name? Darren, Darren, Darren. 
Darren, Darren, stand up, Darren. That's good, that. Ooh. <laughs> just over here, Darren, just over here. Darren, that's perfect. Just a little bit more over there. That's fantastic. Thank you so much, Darren. I'll just take the old... <laughs> <laughs> take the weight off the old cluster berries. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of ripe grapes, I tell you. <laughs> Hello, my dear. Hello. And what is your name? Denise. Uh, you have to speak up a bit louder for Mr. Poppy. Denise. <laughs> Denise. And what lovely perfume you're wearing tonight, Denise, if I might say so. Now, Denise, what I want you to do, right? It's so very difficult to write. I want you to look at these cards. Memorise these cards. Don't worry about the suits, just the number, all right? All right, lovely. Right? Uh, look at them. Concentrate, concentrate. Right, now, read off the numbers from left. To right. Two, five, three, three, nine, two, two. Very, very good indeed, Denise. Yeah. <laughs> now prefix that with 071 and I'm in after <laughs> six. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Richard van der Feller, a man famous for many things. Divorced eight times, father of 26 children, he made his first million by the age of seven. Good morning, Sir Richard. Mm. Breakfast, Sir Richard. Mm. <laughs> Renowned raconteur, bon viveur, entrepreneur, Wheeler, dealer, mover, shaker. Sir Van der Feller is perhaps most famous for being the richest man in the world. Mm. Caviar, Sir Richard. Mm. Enough, Sir Richard. Mm. Cigarettes, sir? Mm. As you can see, we've taken care of all of Sir Richard's needs now for some considerable time. As a matter of fact, Sir Richard hasn't even had to speak for, um, ten years, is it, sir? Mm. Some ten years. Mm. Pardon, sir? Mm. I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to leave as Sir Richard wishes to begin his morning ablutions. Out you go, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mm. Uh, long trip. Thank you. Your appointments for today, Sir Richard? Mm. Certainly, sir. Ten thirty, Florence. Eleven forty-five, Saudi. Mm. Two fifteen, Sydney. And Osaka is the last business engagement of the day, sir. <laughs> and finally, sir, back home to sign a few papers before your social engagements. <laughs> and uh, that completes the day's business, sir. This evening, just a small informal dinner with a few personal friends. Did one enjoy the veal, Sir Richard? 
Sir Richard says, obviously, you enjoyed yours, Your Majesty. <laughs> At the end of a tiring day, Sir Richard is often in need of a little entertainment. And dancer? Mm. Down a bit more, sir? Mm. And right, sir? Mm. And left, sir? Mm. And down a bit more, sir? Mm. And up, sir? Mm -hmm. And down, sir? Mm. And up, sir? And down, sir. Full speed ahead, sir. And there she blows, sir. Hey, Jim, is that a stick you've got up your butt? Yeah, but this is no ordinary. Pull up the whole bit. This is a genuine stick up the rectum from those clever guys at Ain't You Stick. Stick up the rectum. It's great for when you want to party. When you're getting down, stick it up. <laughs> it's even a big hit with the kids. Hey, can I borrow it? <laughs> you don't have to. Now, thanks to those clever guys at Ain't You Stick, you can afford a stick up the rectum of your very own. <laughs> Order now and get a discreet imitation leatherette carrying case absolutely free. Sounds great. But how do I get mine? Or today. This wonderful offer is not available in any shop. If lines are busy, call again. If they're still busy, get up at 3 a.m. and call us then. If they're still busy, take time off work until you can get through us. But to call, please, please do call. Calls are free. Please call. What's this then? The rest home, Uncle. You're going to be staying here from now on. When can we get back on the coach, then? You're not. You're staying here. What's that, then? Well, you're too much of a handful for me to manage anymore. Anyway, you'll probably get on famously with the fruitcakes in this place. <laughs> Who's that, then? It's you, Uncle. It's your reflection. Will they have icing on them? What? The fruitcakes? Will they have icing on them? Forget the fruitcakes, I I'm just saying that most of the people in here are nuts, that's all. That's clever. When can we get back on the coach there? We're not. We're staying here. Are they monkeys? Oh, they're your bags. No, no, no. The nuts. Are they monkey nuts? Will you forget the nuts? What's that then? It's your bed. Why has it got a wrinkle in the middle of it, then? Because it's your finger. <laughs> when are we getting back on a coach, then? There is no bloody coach. We came here by car. God, you tried me up the wall. Are they walnuts, then? <laughs> yes. Yes, they're walnuts. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to get back on your imaginary coach. Goodbye. What's the coach, then? <laughs> Look, I'll see you on the 4th of January. And before you ask, four is a number and January is a month. <laughs> They're always in such a rush. I know. I don't know what's wrong with them. is Van Gogh's sunflowers. No breasts, no buttocks, no penises. I didn't like it very much. And that's what I think of this painting. So you're so, are so 
Your question ask it Don't steal the picnic basket of life A sidewinder sleeps in my pants What a freaking I say, what a freaking I say What a freaking he say, what a freaking he say really We've reached the end of yet another series. Yes, and we'd like to say thank you to a few people. I'd like to thank the camera crew for lacing my drink with some excellent ecstasy. Thank you very much. <laughs> I've never eaten carpet before. It was delicious. And I'd like to say a special thanks to our floor manager, who's not only a great bloke, but he spent many hours of his own time selecting some of the most imaginative and acrobatic prostitutes I've ever come across. <laughs> great guy, great guy. I mustn't forget the stage manager, uh, because she, she's handcuffed to my four post to bed, so I mustn't forget her. Oh, she's starved to death. Thank you very much indeed. And a big cheer to the Brompton Satanist Society. Uh, what a great night out that was. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thanks for letting me keep the dagger. I'll treasure it always. Thanks a lot. And I would like to say a special thank you to the gentleman whose Jaguar I stole last night, the police involved in the chase, and the high street jeweller whose shop I ram raided. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Well, uh, to sum up, we just want to say thanks to all our pimps, dealers, bait accountants, and also those police officers 